Sheen United TV here. We've just lost 2 1 at home to Hensford. Jody, what was your thoughts on the game that's just happened? Um, really poor performance, really poor. Um, <clears throat> obviously, we've lost the keeper, or lost the standing keeper just before kick off. So, Max Bogues has to come in net. Um, they've lost, lost Pilkey in the first half as well. So, two players down again. Um, and obviously, Alan Chalmers has been taken off. So, injuries are absolutely killing us at this moment in time. Um, they're absolutely killing us, and we've we're down to bare bones, but I'm mentioning that because we can't use that as an excuse today. Yeah. We, were, we were poor all over the pitch, um, poor um, poor decision making, um, we were trying to play out from the back a, a couple of times and uh, we are giving the ball away in, in, in terrible areas and obviously we'd give them a goal um, by creating, uh, by making a mistake. And that's given something again, like Workington's given something to defend, and it's given a, you know, they're coming on the back of two heavy defeats, and it's given a, it's given them a lift, um, you know. And I think it, the game plan beforehand was to get at them, um, you know, a team that's lacking confidence, you know, after two heavy defeats, and we never did that. Um, apart from the first minute we had the post in the first minute, I think that was the only time we really looked like scoring. Um, you know, we scored in the last, you know, dying embers of the game, and it's. To flick on from a corner and come at the back, and yeah. I think that was the only way we were going to score. Really, we're lacking, we're lacking a little bit of creativity in the final third. Um, our build-up play at the moment is a little bit slow and ponderous, and um, certain players had the, the poorest game of the season today. Um, very, very poor in possession. Um, as I've already mentioned, decision making was poor at times, and it's hard. It's hard now because we. <laughs> We're going to Tuesday, cup match, and really, you'd like to use your squad. You'd like to, to give people yeah. games, but we haven't got anyone. You know, I'm having to bring myself on in the last ten minutes to you know to try and change it. You made the goal. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's you know it's really really difficult. Um, you know we need to just get busy now this ne next week now. And we're going to have to bring players in. Um, I was hoping that we and, and I think we did. We had enough in that dressing room to win, us, win our last two games. We did. And we've not um, through poor playing. I think certain players have to come out of that team um, because they're, they're not performing to the level that's yeah. required at this moment in time and we haven't got the players to, to take them out of the team um, so they're having to stay in it. Would have loved to have made changes after Tuesday night um, you know, because we, we weren't at the races Tuesday night either and again it's, we just look we look a bit sluggish, we look very predictable the way we play said at half time. I want us to play out from the back and I want us to play through the lines but you have to manage the game as you see it and sometimes we have to turn them and we have to squeeze up the pitch and we have to earn the right to play uh, the, foot, the type of football that we want to play. Yeah. We, we, did the, we did that a little bit, a little bit better second half after we've, well, obviously we've had a chat at half time. I um, thought they had three immobile centre backs that we didn't move about enough. I um, thought, thought the, the threat for us was to, to get down the sides of the, the two centre backs, isolate them out wide and get 1v1s. We just didn't do that, um, didn't do that enough. Um, probably from our poor build-up play. Um, yeah. You know, we were um, sloppy in possession a number of times. Probably the worst game I've seen Nicky Pat play in, in possession. He gave it away a number of times in the first half. Uh, and he's been he's been very, very good for us. Um, thought the three in midfield today were, were not, weren't great. Um, and I've praised them very highly uh, over the season. Yeah. They have done very well for us. Um, but you know we have to recognise as well. Sometimes when we don't play well, um, we've not played well in the last two games. We've not done enough to win. Yeah. You know certainly deserve to lose today. It's definitely deserve to lose. Um, didn't think they were a spectacular team, and I thought I thought it was a game we, uh, we should be capable of winning at home. Um, but unfortunately, we've, we've not been good enough, and that's something that I have to go away now and you know um, and rectify. You know, yeah. And that's potentially, well, it's not potentially, we've got to go and bring some players in um, because our squad is just so paper thin now. You know, we're, we're, I'm just talking to Woody in the dressing room and we're struggling to lay him at 11 for, for Tuesday night. Yeah. I've never known anything like it, but you know, another three injuries today is just unheard of. It's just ridiculous. I mean, it's, we're well into double figures for injured players, um, two long terms. Um, and you know, I, there's, there's no light at the end of the tunnel with some, certain injuries. I think we're, we're looking to get Tom Eckersley back next Saturday, Jack Dyche and Pencilin in for next Saturday, um, Dave Carnell in the next two weeks, hopefully. Um, and he's we, a massive uh, on Carnell as well. Yeah, he's, he's, he's huge. And bless, you know, uh, you know, Max Max has come in today and, and, and done his best for us, but um, but we need a little bit more experience in there at this moment in time. Max will be ready, you know, eventually, but you know, I think he, he needs to um, he needs to go. And, Get some games somewhere yeah. else to get that experience. Um, you know, someone like Dave Carnell brings 
you know, calmness and organisation to that back four that's lacking severely at this moment in time. So we need to get him back. Um, we need to get a left back in because you know Dom Smalley's done a great job in there for us covering. Um, but we need a natural left side. It is. Mm -hmm. But our play is very predictable uh, when we're going down the left hand side because it, it's, it, you know, um, Dom's always looking to come inside, which naturally he would do because it's, you know, it's his, it's his natural foot. Um, but we miss that width that Josh would give us, uh, JP would give us. Um, JP's, you know, still unable to drive, so he's he's a way away as well. So it's unfortunate we're going to have to go and get. We, we, we tried to get some in for today, but it's, you know, we, we, we tirelessly spoke to a lot, a lot of people uh, trying to get players in. Um, but my viewpoint on it was no point bringing in just anybody. We had to bring in the right type mm -hmm. of player that will suit our system, but yeah. um, that's capable of playing at this level. Um, we got offered a we got offered a few kids and stuff, but uh, maybe we have to go back and um, and explore those um, explore those opportunities now because we need we just need bodies right now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. We need bodies. We need um, we need fresh impetus, fresh legs, and maybe a little. Fresh ideas going forward. Um, like I said, we last two games we've, we've definitely lacked uh, imagination and penetration in the final third. With um, obviously the situation at the moment, we're down to bare bones in a squad, and obviously the results haven't been good enough for the past yeah. for the past two games. How much emphasis do you put on your senior players right now to step up to the mark? Yeah, um, yeah, should do. We've got good leaders in there. You know, lads that hate losing football matches and. We have to get together, and as, you know, I thought we were a little bit petulant in the first half. Um, you know, we started, you know, things weren't going right. We started turning on each other a little bit, and mm -hmm. that's when you know, senior players and leaders and stuff get a grip of you uh, and drag you through. And sometimes when you're not playing well, you know, you need those big players to to get everyone together and, and drag you through. And maybe you nick a point, or you know, if it's a tight game, you nick the win. Um, and it's you know, it is vitally important, but it's you know. It's, it's they're probably tired, you know. We've, it's relentless this league, you know. Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, and yeah. And obviously, with us carrying so many knocks, it's very difficult to, to change the team, even during a game. Um, it's very difficult to, you know, when obviously once Oscar's gone on, we need we need a goal, and you know, there's only myself left. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and so we have to we've we've got to look at that, and we've got to bring some players in. Um, we've got to bring some players in, and. And as you've mentioned, the senior players need to step up to the plate now because you know we can't be going three games without defeat, and we've got some. We've got, we've got a tough run of games coming up. Yeah, with obviously, yeah, yeah. no no disrespect to to Workington and, and Hensford, but we did, you know we uh, penciled in a you know some, some positive victories in the last couple mm -hmm. of games, and it's not worked out for us. So we have to go and get our points somewhere else now. Uh, we have to regroup as a management team. We have to go out and get busy and bring some players in uh, because we're. Massively short of numbers. Yeah, I, I won't mention the Mosley game because we've already briefly spoke about it anyway. Yeah. But moving on to Mickle over next Saturday, you said we might have some new players and players coming back. Just how much emphasis are you put in that game on to really come back and get the three points? We, we need a reaction now. Yeah. We need a reaction from the players, and they're getting a lot of information, and some of them aren't taking it on board, um, which has been communicated to them in the dressing room and stuff. And if they, you know, if yeah, I'll only say it so many times before I'll move on and bring somebody else in um, because it's, it's not quite sinking in um, with certain individuals. So maybe it's you know um, we, we go and find we go and find we go and find players that want to uh, want to listen, want to want to learn, want to improve, um, and we get back to winning ways against Mickelover, yeah. which is another. T it's a very very tough game. Obviously, Mickelover over the beat Hensford five 0 last week. Um, so. I'm under no illusions. I know the manager very well. I played with him at Burton, and I know that you know. He, he, I know we all get his uh, his team well drilled, well organised. Um, he's got a lot of young players there as well. Um, so I, I envisage a very tough game. Yeah. And we'll have to be. We'll have to get some players in, and we'll have to be at our maximum if we want to go there and win. Right. Well, thank you very much for speaking to us, Jody, and I'll see you at Mosley on Tuesday in Manchester Premier Cup. See you Tuesday.